motherfuckers. How to block AVG pop-ups coming up in front of your screen all the fucking time with buy, bias, bias now, buy more, buy more AVG, pay for AVG, pay, pay, pay for AVG. Right. Let's do a little bit of background research first. So I'll show you what the problem is. People have been complaining for a long time that AVG have been putting on uh, pop-ups and this is done for advertising reasons to try and fool people into thinking they need to use the update service which will give them a one month trial and then they're told they have to pay they must pay they must pay yeah now this is supposed to be a free antivirus program and it has become more like adware here are the people asking the questions to AVG and AVG is saying, hello John, sorry for the inconvenience caused. Let us know which program you're using so we can help assist you. Right, and then he goes on and on. Look at the dates. This is in August 2015. Right? And it keeps going on and on and on. December 2015. On and on. People saying, please tell us how to stop the pop-ups. On and on and fucking on and on and on and on and on. And, it, and most people are saying, hey, we're going to get rid of this software and we're going to tell our friends to get rid of this software because this software is shitware. On and on and on, on and on, right? On and on and on, hundreds of people saying right up to, right up to May of 2016. And do you know what? AVG's most uh, succinct answer to this is we cannot get rid of them because this is a business strategy and we are campaigning to our customers yeah well then if it's meant to be a free product and you're actually trying to campaign on a free product then that makes it adware because you're pushing adverts at people so it's not free software it's adware okay so we need to get AVG included on the adware block lists of spyware because it's now spyware spyware adware trojans viruses avg now qualifies in that category um, so we need to get it added to spybot search and destroy malware bytes we need to get avg added to these programs to be removed removed from your computer as adware because you don't want it yeah so if you want to continue using avg and you've got a little bit of skill there is apparently a way that somebody popped up really far up here let me see if I can find it right here's the way to get rid of it um, user called extreme bokey or bocky extreme bocky tells us how to do it on a netgear router um, you can add it into what is known as the blocked sites and what you do is you add in the site campaign dot avg dot com okay and you add it in to the keyword list and the domain list campaign.avg.com and this stops AVG communicating to their servers to get the adverts okay now if you don't have that there is another way you can do it inside Windows inside Windows firewall so on Windows 7 this is um, go to the control panel control panel click on Windows firewall brings it up go to advanced settings okay up in the top left click inbound rules what you do is you say new rule you say it's a custom rule okay next and then you say it applies to all programs and then you click on this one on the left that says scope you tell it which IP address you wish to add okay now to find out the IP address you have to run a command prompt so you type cmd for command hit enter right let's try this again ping campaign dot avg dot com there we are and it tells you what the the actual port address is so you copy this and then you come over here remote addresses you say it's these addresses add 
put the number in, press OK, click Next, and say block that connection. Next. OK. Next. And you call this Fuck Off AVG, you cunts. OK. And then you press Finish. And that's it. You now have a rule called Fuck Off AVG, you cunts, which will block the inbound and outbound traffic to their advertising server. So thank you very much for watching. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, if you're a host file preferring user, you can um, come over to uh, this area in the host file. Now I'll show you how to get to the host file. You go to your, let's start you from scratch so you can see what's going on here. You go down to the Windows folder, Windows. You go down to System32, Drivers, ETC, and you double click the hosts file. When you do that, it'll say which program do you wish to open it with? You say Notepad. Okay, I've got one open here, Hosts. Okay, this is my host file. And as you can see, we've got some block things. I don't want being um, things happening. So you've got <laughs> products. <laughs> Wonder why they're blocked. Very fucking expensive. Perhaps that's why. Mm, possibly. Maybe. Possibly. Um, yeah. Anyway, here we go. We've got um, uh, the top line one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one, which is campaigns dot avg dot com, and then you come up and you say save, and you save that file. Now you can't save over the top of the existing hosts file because it's read only. So what you do is you call it hosts hosts dot avg are cunts, right? And you hit enter, and it saves it in the folder called hosts avg are cunts. You see there. What you do then is you take the original host file and you you um, give it another name. So you say host dot old old bastard, and you rename it. Then you rename the one called host dot average avg are cunts dot txt. You rename that one to just hosts, and it says, "Are you sure?" And you say, "Yes." Then you right click hosts, go to properties and you make this a read-only file and you say OK. And that's it folks, then you reboot the machine and then you'll be blocked in the host file, you'll be blocked in the firewall and you may even put it so you block it in your router. But you only need to do one effectively um, and I'm going to reboot my machine and see whether I don't get any annoying fucking shit from AVG anymore, so good luck.